weekly vlog. It's currently Monday morning. I had a lie until around 9.30 and yeah, for the morning, I'm just gonna be chilling out on my computer. I'm going to be ordering a couple things. And yeah, then I have classes and meetings in the afternoon. <laughs> But I have got my matcha here, it's just oat milk, matcha and honey and I absolutely love it so I'm going to drink this while I get on with all my morning tasks. So I've just had an insane amount of emails to answer so I've just been going through that and as you can see I just ordered this silk pillowcase off Amazon. I've really been trying to get better at hair care and I think if you look at some of my older videos my hair is looking slightly better and I am trying to grow it out but I think having a silk pillowcase will hopefully help a bit. I've seen lots about it on TikTok so yeah I've just got that. Thinking of you, thinking of you. Before I had lunch, I actually did one of the lectures from my Sociology of Culture module. It's really interesting, it's all about the Frankfurt School, mass culture, popular culture, Marxism, all stuff like that. So I've done the first lecture on that. Now I'm going to attend my Debates on Childhood and Youth seminar. Then at 3pm, which is after my childhood seminar, I actually have a research method seminar. But I'm not going to that because the teacher said if it's not really useful for us not to go and I've done all the lectures already. So I'm not feeling like I have to go to that one today. But during that time where I would have that class, I'm going to do the rest of my culture module. The way that they, you know, can work and blur the boundaries of fun and work and family and work. The West sort of destroying their local uh, norms and values. So I think we often blame individuals where it's really society's fault, where the education system should be preparing us for work. everything on my to-do list for today and I just meal planned for the week so yeah I think that's where I'm leaving it off for Monday um, I'll see you tomorrow it's 10 a.m. on Tuesday morning I've just been sort of cleaning and getting some stuff done but I've been up since around 8 40 so yeah I'm just gonna chill on my computer for a bit and then I have class at 11 that is my sociology of gender tutorial and then this afternoon I'm going to the library with a friend and I'm gonna get a ton of work done library but um we didn't actually end up going to the library well we did but we got kicked out because apparently that's closed and then we went somewhere else and apparently need to book it and like I've booked stuff before but I'm so hesitant about booking stuff because they just put you wherever in places that completely aren't suited to your subject or your type of learning but I'm not complaining it's just incredibly difficult to articulate how it is to be a student right now but um, I was really stressed. I thought I lost my camera when I was in one of the study spaces, but I came home and it was on my desk. So I didn't get much footage, but I do have my camera, so that is all good. I got an entire unit done for my research methods module, and then I got started on my sociology of culture module and my debate in childhood and youth module. I can't describe how isolating it is to study alone for months and months in what is meant to be such a collaborative university environment, as I'm sure so many of you know, because I'm sure so many of you guys are students. But on a much brighter note, I actually filmed a segment on the weekend, which I would love to include now because I think it turned out so nice and I love these products and I think you guys will too. I actually got a package from Cookie Dough just the weekend before I'm filming the rest of this vlog and they were really kind and sent me this variety taster hamper so I could show you guys and tell you my true and honest reactions. I've been meaning to try them for ages so I was insanely happy when they reached out to me. So the hamper arrived in this box and it is so cute and the Cookie Dough was in a separate bag in the box which had a chill bag so it was kept nice and cold. So I have four flavours here, triple chocolate fudge, kiwi chocolate chip, 
red velvet and funfetti cake batter. So cookie dough is actually rebranding to Snacksidents and I love that name, it is so cute, which means they're going to be releasing a lot of new and exciting products. So this is the cookie dough from Snacksidents. So you can also heat these up or eat them at room temperature. I'm going to try most of them at room temp and then heat one up. So this is my boyfriend Jake, he's going to be trying them out with me and then we will uh, pick our favorites at the end. We've got the triple chocolate fudge first and we're gonna try this one raw and I also put half of it in the microwave just for 10 seconds to heat it up. This is the only one we're trying to heat it up, but um, I'll definitely be trying it more later in the week. Mm. That's really good. Like, I, oh, thought that's it would, nice, I thought it'd be overwhelmingly sweet, but it's not. Like it's a really nice level of sweetness. Oh, that's good actually. Very nice. Mm. Is it better warmed up? Okay. Much better. <laughs> Much better. Much better. Did you get a chocolate chip? Oh, I don't. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> but this is so nice. I'll show you the texture. It's like much softer when it's heated up. I think it's much more like desserty and indulgent when it's mm, heated up. Definitely. Yeah. Look how cute it is. What is fun? Um, just confetti, I guess. No, it's like funfetti cake batter. You know how in America they have like the box mix cakes. Cheers. Cheers. That's nice, actually. Really? That's more like normal cookie dough. Mm. It's like more what you'd expect from cookie dough. Do you know? I think I like the last one more though. I don't know. I mean, I'm still eating it. Like, it's really. Okay. I don't yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I love white chocolate. But yeah, this one tastes more like white that. chocolate. That's like classic, like cookie dough. Like proper... mm. That's perfect. Yeah. That's just like normal cookie dough. I like the little containers a lot because, like, I don't, you know, I put everything in jars. Like, mm. I'm definitely going to keep this and use the jars. Like, they're plastic, but it's like a sturdy plastic and. Like, the lids are so cute, so definitely keep these and put random stuff in it. Yeah, 150 grams. Oh, they're from Nottingham. Oh, cute. Less. less. 150 grams, so, oh yeah, so it says it's two servings, so you can't mm. really go overboard, but like, we're gonna put this back in the fridge and go back to it, definitely, so. Yeah, no, if you just want a couple of spoons. It's yeah, yeah, nice. it's perfect for that. You could put it with some fruit or like, yeah. cream, I think it says, if you're gonna warm it up, like, with some ice cream or something. That's so good. Ooh, is that white chocolate as well? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I really like that actually. Mm, I think I need a. Mm. It has like a really nice cakey aftertaste. Mm. Really good red mm. velvet, like mm. almost perfect. I got a big chunk of the fudge oh, as well, which yeah. is really good. The fudge is lovely, yeah. but oh, wait, what's your favorite one? I think I like this the best. Really? Actually, yeah. Okay, so my fourth place is. Oh, see, they're all good, so it's not like a last place, it's just like not my favorite. I would say the fun fetti is like by an inch like my my fourth place okay what would you say is your fourth place probably the same actually for the yeah family, yeah, yeah. it's like there's no bad there's just there's no good bad. and yeah. better what's your third place oh probably the normal one really gooey, oh controversial yeah. i think the triple chocolate fudge and the red velvet are my joint second place what's your second place Green. Yeah, the this chocolate one is insane. Place, yeah. All right, so your first place is the red velvet, but I like the classic cookie dough. I think it's so good. Mm. If you, if you want the classic one, that's yeah. so good. But I like. These others have got something a bit different Yeah. About them. So thank you so much Cookie Dough for sending me that. So you can use my code ELSA10 to not only support me and show Cookie Dough that I sent you, but also to try some of these amazing products yourself. Wednesday. Wednesdays are my day off as for actually having classes that I have to show up to. As you saw, I just did a big food shop at Asda and I will show you what I get up to after that. About you, I'll never know. So I've had lunch and I've just been watching some YouTube, but I really want to finish some of the work that I started yesterday. I finished one unit for my research methods module completely and I did about half of my sociology of culture module. So I want to finish my sociology of culture module and maybe get started on another module. I'll see how I feel, uh, but then I might clean a bit and then finally relax. I also painted my nails yesterday, which I love doing before class because then they can just dry and I'm not really doing anything besides typing, so it's perfect for that. Um, I love this colour by Essie, it's called Birthday Girl, it's such a nice like basic colour but also really pretty because it has like a sort of sparkle to it. I just thought I'd tell you guys about that because honestly just doing little things like that 
um, have made me feel so much better during lockdown when I can't really do much. training my hair not to get so oily if you're not doing it you should do it too it's so good for your hair health but it does mean I get some weird hairstyles like this when I'm waiting to wash my hair anyway talking about my hair I wanted to show you something that I got I think it was yesterday so it is this silk pillowcase from Amazon it's this really lovely pink color and it comes in a bunch of different colors um yeah it's only one side silk so it's actually really well priced i will link the exact one i got down below in the description but it is basically so it's not as rough on your hair and your skin and honestly when i woke up this morning i could already tell that my hair wasn't as knotty another thing i want to talk about is this book i have been reading it is to kill a kingdom by alexandra christo i recently just got back into reading last year i was obsessed with it in middle school but i was also obsessed with studying english literature so that kind of ruined my love for reading because I couldn't read without analysing and I just couldn't enjoy books normally. So now that I study sociology at uni and I don't have to study fictional books in academic context, I can really just enjoy the fiction and immersing myself in a different world. So I've been loving this book. I'm about two thirds of the way in. Honestly, the first third is a little slow, um, but it's a lot of world building, but I absolutely love world building. So it was slow plot wise, but very interesting. But I didn't realise till about a third in, it's actually a Little Mermaid retelling and it's retold in like a dark YA fantasy kind of vibe. So yeah, I just thought I would recommend this book while I'm reading it at the moment. Good morning, it is Thursday. I've just made two cups of tea. I'm having a matcha with soy milk and a chamomile and honey tea, which I got yesterday at the store. As for today, I will just be getting some more work done as per usual, and I have a class at 11, so I'll be showing you that and anything else I get up to. Civilization and emerging of cultures, there's all these different subgroups, and there is no one meta narrative or truth that can be the answer for all these people. So that class was good. I always do this. Um, I keep forgetting it's actually 12 to 1 rather than 11 to 12. So yeah, I had that class, had lunch, watched some YouTube and it just feels so nice to be done with classes for the week i have one unit of work to do today but honestly i have friday saturday sunday to do it so i might even do it tomorrow see how i feel but it's really nice to have everything done i think having that really productive day on i think it was tuesday this week really helped because i got so much work done then so i have two new cups of tea with me i have another chamomile and honey which has been so lovely and I have an Earl Grey with oat milk and some Biscoff cookies and I'm going to play The Sims, which I've been loving lately. Honestly, I feel like it's such a good escapist game to play during lockdown. So I'm going to have that and just relax for a bit. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Jake. Hope you've enjoyed the video. <laughs> So I've decided I'm actually going to work on my work tomorrow. So for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be chilling. Um, and since this was mainly a study vlog, I figured I can end the vlog here. This was a really realistic week in my life. Um, it felt very normal to me, like I wasn't doing much, but I hope you thought it was a bit interesting. So yeah, if you did like this video, please do like. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would love to see more of you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh -oh.